So you've learned quite a few things about my paint and you've created your artwork. So now, how do you save? Well, today we'll be learning how to export or save your artwork, whether as an image or as a file that you can reopen and edit at any time. So I'm just making some random drawings on different layers for now. And right here, I have my drawing. So if we go to My Paint, File, then Export, a window pops up. And if I click on this point right here, I am presented with a list of formats to choose from. So I have by extension preferred default. And I would select this option if I want to save my drawing, exit my paint, and edit my drawing at a later date. OpenRaster.ORA is the default format for my paint. It's the same as selecting the first option. So your file would have the extension .ORA. So let's go ahead and save this. Give it a name, then click on save. And if I should reopen my file, you'll see that it opens with all my layers so I can edit my drawings. Now let's close this and in a new file I'm just gonna mark up my canvas. Okay. So that's my drawing. Let's go to My Paint, File, Export and select PNG Solid with Background. Now I'm going to pause here and just let you guys know that if you look in the description for this video you can read about image extensions more specifically PNG, JPEG and GIF. Okay, so if we select PNG Solid with background and click save, oh I didn't give my file a name. So let me just give it a name right now. And if I open the image, this is what I get. So we have my drawing on a white background. Now let's close this, go back to My Paint, File, Export, and the next option I'll select is Multiple PNG Transparent. I'm going to skip PNG Transparent because it's pretty much the same as PNG Solid except without the white background behind your drawing. Exporting as a Multiple PNG Transparent will export all your layers as individual images without a background, and I'm going to demonstrate this. So let's cancel this and let me open a file that already has several layers. So in this file I have three layers. I have my sketch on one layer, the color for my character on a different layer, and the color for the ground on a different layer. Let's go to my paint file, export, and select multiple PNG transparency. So it's going to export each of these layers as different images with an extension of .png. Now let's save this and let me show you what happened. So I've opened the first image from where I've saved it. Now notice the name. It says rejected underscore Pokemon underscore box underscore juice dot zero zero one dot PNG. Remember when we saved it, we didn't add a zero zero one to the end. So what happened? Well, because it saved out all my layers using the one name, my paint actually added a number sequence to the end. So we had three layers. So if I skip to the next image, you'll notice the name as zero zero two added to it. So this is the second layer and if I go to the next image, you'll see 003 added to the end. So my paint not only saved each of my layers as a separate image, but it helped to rename each image because we can't have two or more files with the same name in the same location. And also notice that it didn't take the name of the layers, but rather the name we gave it when saving. Now let me close this and I'm going to give you a more, well, practical example. 
So let me start a new file. Create a new layer. Rename it ground so I can know where to start my drawings. Create another layer and draw my first ball. So really what I'm doing is creating a bouncing ball. And whenever the ball changes its position, I'm going to create a new layer and draw the ball in its new location. So I'm going to speed this up somewhat. And here I have all my drawings. So let me just show you what I've done real quick by turning on and off my layers. And as you can see, each layer has the ball in a different location or position. I probably should have drawn the ground on each layer, but I didn't, unfortunately. Now go to My Paint, File, Export, change the option to Multiple PNG Transparent, give my file a name, let's call it Ball underscore Bounce, and click Save. So let me open the first image, which of course is the ground layer, which is basically a wasted image right now, because I didn't draw it on all the layers. Now if I cycle through the images, look what happens. We have a bouncy ball. And the last extension is a JPEG image. And keep in mind that as far as I know, you can't have a JPEG image with transparency. So when you select this option, it will be similar to saving as a PNG image with a solid background. But please refer to the description below where I explain image extensions. And that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe if you haven't already.